Hey guys, my name is Scubby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to transfer your Fortnite installation from one hard drive to another. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. Using this method you won't actually have to re-download Fortnite. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing we're going to be doing is opening up our file explorer and we're going to be locating to our current installation of Fortnite. So right now I have it on my D drive right here and I have it currently installed in this Fortnite folder. And inside your Fortnite folder you should have two separate folders containing all of your game's content. So what we're going to be doing is creating a backup of this. I'm going to be opening up another file explorer window and I'm going to be locating to the drive where I want to transfer Fortnite to. So in this case I want to transfer it to my E drive which is my SSD. So what we're going to be doing is creating a new folder on my E drive and I'm going to be naming this Epic games you can transfer this fortnite back up to wherever you want i'm just going to be transferring it to the drive i want to install it on it's going to save a transfer time later on so what i'm going to be doing is transferring my fortnite game to my e drive and i'm going to be renaming this fortnite folder to fortnite 123 you can rename it to anything you want here but fortnite old something like that just so you can differentiate it from a new installation of fortnite from here we're going to be going to our epic games launcher we're going to be going beside the launch option clicking the cog wheel and going to the uninstall from here we're going to be uninstalling our current version of Fortnite so we can reinstall Fortnite on a new folder and then link it with the files we just had. From here we're going to be going back to Epic Games one more time. We're going to be clicking install and then once this installation window pops up we're going to be clicking browse. We're going to be locating to the drive where we want to install it which I want to install at my E drive in the Epic Games folder. And you're going to see my old version of Fortnite is right here but I'm going to be installing it just here in this base folder. And it's going to create a new Fortnite folder called Fortnite and this is why we wanted to rename our previous version. Version. From here all you want to do is let your Fortnite download initialize just so it gets to the basic level of downloading. Then what we want to do is pause and cancel the download. From here what we want to do is close down our Epic Games. We're going to be coming to our taskbar at the bottom. We're going to be right clicking the Epic Games icon and we're going to be clicking the exit button right here which is going to completely shut it down. From here we're going to be going to our Epic Games folder that we just tried to install Fortnite on and we're going to be deleting the Fortnite installation that we just tried to make. Then we're going to be renaming the Fortnite 123 that we made previously and just renaming it to Fortnite. And from here it's going to act like it's previously installed version. From here what you want to do is click your Windows key and we're going to reopen the Epic Games launcher. Let this launch up. You want to go back to Fortnite and then you want to click resume on the application. From here what Fortnite's going to do is verify the current installation or the current folder that's there that the game thinks we just downloaded. This can take some time depending on the hard drive. This took me about 5 minutes. But once it's fully verified all of your game files should work and you should be able to launch Fortnite just like it was currently installed. And it saves you having to do the complete download process. So just like this you can see I can launch it here no problem. The Fortnite game is going to install and I didn't have to download anything for this. But you can do this without having to download it and it works really really well as you can see fortnite is launching now with no issues and it's going to go all the way to the menu and everything should work just fine but anyway guys it's that easy to move fortnite from one hard drive to another without having to re-download this method will also work across pcs but i can show you guys in more detail if you want to see how to do that step by step but it's really easy to do and it should save you a bit of time from downloading anyway guys if you enjoyed this tutorial be sure to drop a like Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. I make all these videos for free. I always try to put the highest quality into them and I put a lot of time and effort. So if you want to support the channel, I'd recommend checking that out. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.